What is happening, y'all? And welcome back to One Like Moses One. Yes, 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 yes. We're back with yet another reaction. Woo! It's exciting stuff, man. Sorry, y'all. I still got the cold um, off of sleeping in under that. That, that That's an air condition. Today, today, we are reacting to Frankie Boyle, Best of Audience Annihilation Part 1. This should be interesting. I've never heard of um, Frankie Boyle before, but... um. Let's see what he's got. What about you, man? That's a rather strange fucking injury you've developed there. What happened to you? Burnt myself. You burnt yourself? You what? That sounded awfully deliberate there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I, I did deliberate. Myself. How did you burn he's yourself? He's a Scotsman. You he's one. Scottish. Now you fucking changed your story. <laughs> fucking one call, there was fucking no fees lawyers, and suddenly you got burnt at work. <laughs> you you burnt yourself. <laughs> fucking fold in the witness box like a red hot Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Where does this shit sound funny as? Coming from a Scotsman. Um, I work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit and uh. You work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit? <laughs> well, I can see this starting to come together like the start of an episode of Casualty, isn't it? Lol. How do you put your elbow in something hot? I just kind of brushed against it and I was fucked. Fucking I it. just brushed against it and I was fucked. <laughs> it's a lovely yeah. understatement to Scottish people, isn't it? <laughs> 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 That's why you don't really get us in those kind of 999 rescue shows that America has, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was driving along and I just kind of fucked the car into a tree. He's <laughs> so casual about it. I ended up fucked, the car was fucked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but if an American was recollecting their accent, they were like, over the top, I was driving the car and all of a sudden, boom, you know, and I just could not believe it. It was right in front of me and I just could not do anything. And, and, and suddenly an octopus appeared and, and suddenly fucking spaceship, UFO, you know, you know, they'd make it so interesting over the top. Um, but uh, as British folks were just like, well, yeah, I fucking crashed, you know. Um, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, nigga, <laughs> be more frigid and lively about what the fuck happened to you, nigga. Make that shit good. <laughs> In terms of telling the no story. Hot shit around. <laughs> I just jumped out and ran my fucking elbow into it. Like yeah, it's so casual. Like. <laughs> you know. <laughs> How you doing, wee boys? A fucking wee boy with a receding hairline. How are you doing, Benjamin uh, Button? Uh, <laughs> You've been hit with a death ray or something? Did he call him Benjamin Button? What? Hey, do not insult that. Oh, he used it for as a reference uh, into highlighting the fact that he is aging backwards or he's like a fucking um, grandpa already. <laughs> but he's Why only are like, you what? a fucking 15, sort of 16, French faced 18. old man? What the fuck are you? Lol. The wee boy? Is this your parents? Fucking hell, you brought, you brought two, don't worry, your mum knows you wank. Nah. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? She was the one who started it, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Your mum wanks too. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong, when she was younger, yeah, yeah. Sometimes your mum wanks your dad. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, he's, he's matured. He, he understands. He, yeah, he's been through sex education The and only shit. thing they don't know is that you wank thinking about your mum wanking your dad. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, hello, Hackney. This guy is funny. I had a wee look like around Hackney today. It looks like a fucking holding pen for the Jeremy Kyle show. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Are you doing, little fella? You've made a fucking effort. Looks like someone shaved a monkey and kicked it through Top Man. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he resting that? What did the guy do to him? Nah, he said it looks like someone um, shaved a monkey and put him through top man. It was fucking it, man. You've gone for it with the hair here, haven't you? <sighs> you look like a moderately powerful Pokemon. <laughs> moderately <laughs> average. Why is he a giant version of you? <laughs> he looks like a fucking Russian doll. Who's there? <laughs> Are you the big fella? 
How's life been <laughs> since you played Mongo in the Blazing Saddles movie? <laughs> What'd you do, big man? <laughs> IT. That's IT. You said that in a sort of, and my soul is dying ah, every no. time I sit in front of the computer screen. Ah. <laughs> What about you, Frodo? What's your yeah, story? Frodo. Why <laughs> about you, Frodo? Because you look like you've had your ring destroyed. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <coughs> what do you do, man? Photographer. You're a what? Photographer. You're a photographer? Peter Parker. You're a trainee pedophile, sir. <laughs> oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> I love that cheer Scottish people do where they think there's a lot more Scottish people in. Yeah, oh, we're surrounded. <laughs> where are you from, Scottish people? You sound fucking... Oh, Paisley, he's, he's top you in shit town, top trumps there. <laughs> I've never been to Scotland. Sorry, we've had a higher bid. <laughs> What's brought you down from Paisley? Drugs. A raft made from turnips. Some say drugs. <laughs> Although I quite like your answer, drugs. Yeah, I heard. I suspect that's your answer to a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Drugs! Drugs. <laughs> Fife? Who's from Fife? The king He's of like, life. Sniffs. <laughs> Whereabouts in Fife are you from? Kirkcaldy. Kirkcaldy. I'll have to explain this to them now. <laughs> Basically, Kirkcaldy, the town's pride took a bit of a knock recently when they found out that the people of Ethiopia were holding a rock concert for them. Really? So what are you doing in London? Working. Working, there's a doer. A Scotsman in London. <laughs> You're just going to bleed the information out gradually, aren't you? <laughs> a fucking human riddle from Kirkcaldy. <laughs> My first is in Windmill, but not in Canal. <laughs> I work, but what do I work at? Guess again. <laughs> what do you work at? What? What do you say, bro? Consultant. Do you want to go any deeper into the explanation? Or we just Management consulting. Management, Management consulting. consulting. What are they managing? <laughs> Not very much. Are they managing to find you quite an annoying cunt? <laughs> what man, what do you do? <laughs> The stockbroker. What about you, man? Stockbroker. That's money. Fantastic. How do you know him? He's a money what man. Some stockbrokers. Friends. What the fuck do you talk about? <laughs> oh yeah, I made made quite a bit of money uh, short selling on uh, Nike today. Yeah, really. I broke up a big jobby in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, fucking gigantor? You alright, man? Oh. Uh, <laughs> fucking looking at me like I'm a big sausage holding a microphone on <laughs> you. Fat fuck. He just got him fat without calling him fat. He said he's looking at him like he's a big sausage holding the mic. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> it's not good. It reminds me of Dave Chappelle. White version of Dave Chappelle. Uh, hey, you doing, big fella? What's your role in life? Lawyer. You're a lawyer? Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. He's gonna get your ass. Law? Property. Property law. Property. Could you be more worthless? Ah, oh, but uh, that's it's not money. Often I'll say this. <laughs> not often I'll say this, but you should stick your face in a meat grinder and go and live in the woods. Fuck. <laughs> that, I don't mean this to sound that, horrible, that. I really don't. But I could watch you being raped and not feel a flicker of emotion. <laughs> what does he have against property lawyers? Was he kicked out of one? <laughs> he just told him to fuck off. <laughs> He's funny. He's funny. How are you doing, me man? Are you a weird-looking straight guy or a really weird-looking gay guy? Nah, lol. Yeah, yeah. androgynous. To cover it up. He has androgynous features. How much will I pay you? That was your fucking effort, was it? <laughs> when your mum gave birth, she shot you out so she could leave her pussy free for fucking the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> when your mom gave her, she shut you up. So he's like, oh, for f bloody hell, man. Oh, that guy, he, he just. I love this guy. <laughs> what the f Is that his mum? That makes your jokes funny. Well, you're getting a fucking hard time for getting your phone out, you dozy cunt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Any idea? 
Just looking up at me like a fucking cat started talking. <laughs> <laughs> you got a blind face there, pal. If you held that expression for long enough in a hospital, you get fucking switched off. <laughs> <laughs> not in front of his girlfriend, man. God damn it. You just don't even not get some pussy tonight, man. I've heard about this Belfast. Apparently, you have some religious worries over there. We've... We don't really take any opinion of it. It's not our business, cute. to be honest. <laughs> what brought you over? The ferry? Oh. Uh, Working here? No, on the brew. On the brew? Is he Irish? <laughs> Listen to how popular that's made you in the room there. <laughs> Fucking 400 years on Irish immigration still a yeah, issue Irish. for these people. An Irish and a Scotsman. I'll give you a job, man, because we might need to fight our way out of this fucking thing at the end, okay? <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? You're doing fucking well for yourself, man. Yes, yeah, I'd said she's pretty. Maybe her parents just wish that you'd hurry up and murder her so they could grieve properly. Fuck. God damn. Tears every time they see Shrek. They must. So it's two empty seats right in the middle. This is supposed to be sold out. Where are they? I hope they're dead in a fucking car crash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and what are you guys here in your fucking waistcoats and your suits? <laughs> you, you just get around. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck you too. Oh, yeah. You fucking shrek looking at <laughs> I mean, don't answer cunts because I can fucking see that. <laughs> <laughs> you do fucking jump the bait wide when I. I'm, they're a great sport as well. They're a great sport. Um, you know, for just engaging in, you know, the, the humor and the roasting, you know, because you do have some people that go to comedy shows and they just can't handle humor or dark humor and roasting or whatnot, you know, just, they just walk out or they start um, heckling, you know. Sir, that joke is offensive. It's like, bitch, why is he here? You know, type shit. morning coat with a side pattern. <laughs> What does he call it? There's people shouting me in this city from a moving car for wearing gloves. <laughs> gloves, you prick. Yeah. It's winter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, are you on some kind of poverty safari? Nah. Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, Glasgow. You're from Glasgow? <laughs> Where the fuck about are you? <laughs> Fuck, have you not been picked off? Uh, what do you do? Inside Pollock. you, you're Pollock. from, you're from Pollock? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> have you some leap here from an alternative Pollock? Uh, I'm to a stage now where people come up and talk to me in the street. And I fucking hate people. <laughs> Arseholes are attracted to me in the same way that a store detective is attracted to a 2002 Celtic away talk. No. <laughs> People come up to me and they say, Frankie, what should I do if an ex-girlfriend phones me up and tells me that she's HIV positive? Oh! And I say, the trick is to always act surprised. <laughs> uh -uh. Act surprised? Like How does that help? Johnny. I think I can explain myself to Wait. you. Wait, oh, because he, yeah. That was a wee boy. My granddad used to take me up into the loft. He'd take this down a is... chest that he had up there. He'd open up the chest. Do you know what was in it? A mermaid. And he'd have me strip naked as a wee boy and make love to that mermaid on the floor while he watched for his sexual gratification. That's crazy. Two years later, when the old bastard was dead, I went back up into the loft. I took down the chest and opened up. Do you know what I found in there? Dead monkey with its legs sewn together. Is that based on a true story? Ah, no. Dead monkey. You remind me of that monkey, Johnny. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, he's a funny comedian. He is funny. He's very funny. I like him. You know, he just. Guys around roasting foxy. <laughs> what did you call that guy? Uh, you call that fat 
the fat guy at the beginning. He's like, you picture me as a, a fat sausage with a, a giant sausage with a fucking microphone, don't you? Oh, just roasting folks. Just roasting folks. Oh, my days. What are your thoughts, comment, concerns, you know? Put it down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time.